Get your iPod. iPod's here. You like your Macintosh. You like your Macintosh. Your Macintosh. Up, up. And the Macintosh of all the machines I've ever seen is the only one that needs that. Stand. Okay, we are here um, once again um, via uh, connections to connections to connections in the Silicon Valley. That's what I love. To a company that I did not know at all. What's the name of the company? Uh, we're called RockU.com. Okay. And who are you? Uh, my name is Ja. I'm one of the founders. Okay. So what does uh, RockU do? Um, we're the, I mean, we're the leading widget provider for social networks. Okay. And the biggest thing about our widgets is uh, they're all centered around self-expression. And so an example is you put, you have a, you have your social network page and you want to put something on it to actually make yourself stand out. So we're very big in um, most of the large social networks, basically Bebo, Facebook. Friendster, MySpace, okay. tagged all those social networks were actually fairly large on. Okay. So working with Flash or also with HTML? Um, mm -hmm. Lots of HTML. Flash is our, the actual widget inside of the site is all actually Flash. Okay. So, um, um, so a hard question from the beginning. What do you think, guys, about Silverlight? What do we think about Silverlight? <laughs> Silverlight is, uh, to me, it's like one of those things that, remain, that remains to be proven. It's, it's really cool that they've actually built all the kind of like plugins for all the browsers across all the different platforms. Mm -hmm. But it's really... Let's describe maybe for the people who don't know what Silverlight is, because I realize I know what it is. You know what it is, but uh, what's Silverlight? Um, I, I don't know that much about Silverlight, but Silverlight is, to me, almost like uh, Microsoft's answer to Flash, yeah. um, pretty much. And it's, the, the, its big call to fame is that they've written plugins for all the browsers and that it leverages the ability for... People who know how to do Visual C++, use those Visual Studio, Microsoft development environment to actually really develop kind of creative widgets very similar to Flash. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big things about Flash is that there's almost kind of a dichotomy in the type of developers that you have. You have really graphical and artistic people who don't have a good programming background, and then you have really programming people who are trying to do kind of artistic stuff. You almost never have somebody who's both. Yeah. Right? So, so Silverlight, I think, is kind of like a way to bring developers and artists together easier in kind of a framework that's very mm -hmm. more, much more like kind of NVC mm -hmm. separation of model and kind of like mm -hmm. end view. But isn't it like that, that, that there is a lot of, of guys out there uh, in the Flash community being those geniuses having both, um, um, both qualities, uh, design and uh, code? Yeah, flat, I mean, Flash is established. There, there's just no question about it, right? I mean, for us, just looking at the, demo, uh, the statistics on our site, when I mean, we see almost 97% penetration for Flash across the board, um, across like all of the different browsers. So that's just that's just fairly remarkable. Mm -hmm. And the and the, there's just a huge community behind it now. Okay. Right? Everything from creative to development community, there's just a whole world that has just spent a lot of time actually leveraging Flash. And there's actually entire businesses. I mean, YouTube is a good example, yeah. right? That's just, a, you know, based entirely off of the Flash thing. And it's pretty much dominating in Especially like the video space uh, all around that, you know. We, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, we're obviously huge fans of Flash. Okay. Um, uh, the question, the typical question, uh, which comes to the money, uh, what's the business model uh, behind uh, RockU? Um, I mean, officially our business model is just on-site advertising. Okay. Um, I mean, if just to give a little bit more for, I guess, your listeners and your watchers kind of thing, is uh, our, 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 our site's really around personalization and self-expression. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, uh, imagine, so today, every single day, about half a million people join social networks. Okay. And this, joining a social network is like going to high school on the first day. Um, you're trying to stand out. So imagine if everybody went to high school on the first day and they wore the same thing, and then you wore the same thing the next day and the next day. The whole, what everybody does instead is they wear something very different that kind of shows off their personality, shows off what kind of music they like, what kind of interests that they have, and that kind of thing. That's what we're actually about. When you join a social network, it's a blank slate of a page, and you actually want to go on there and uh, take you know our widgets and actually show off what you, what, the, what, who you are, which is why we got things like slideshows, which take your individual pictures and really goes displays that way. We have other things like what we call glitter text, countdown timers, all sorts of things that I think a lot of people, at least um, in front of like the Web 2.0 business, think from a technology, technology standpoint isn't a big deal, but from a, uh, from a marketing and from an adoption standpoint, as far as what users are looking for, we really got what the users want. Um, what's uh, the history behind uh, RockQ? How well, old are you guys in the company? I mean, and uh, how did it all start? Um, we were, f I guess, I mean, 
the nitty gritty details, uh, details were we were founded I think in January of 2005, so we've been around for about a year and a half. Um, it all started off with, you know, we had a couple friends. Um, you know, we used a little bit of the social network stuff, but we had a couple friends who were like, hey, you know, MySpace has really kind of got and kind of ghetto stuff going on. They didn't. They were, the only type of flash stuff that was on MySpace was a, was YouTube. Otherwise, people were using these uh, the HTML marquee tags for their pictures, and everything would scroll along, and it was it was like just really obnoxious. obnoxious. Um, so we're like, well, this is kind of ridiculous. Um, you guys should totally have flash and build an awesome slideshow. There's all sorts of other slideshow stuff. So from the get-go, we're like, hey, we, you know, we want to take uh, really really simple stuff that people want to do on their site today and give them almost pro professional level tools. So we created kind of like best in class slideshow creation, best in class like uh, uh, text animation tools because people like to leave each other messages and they tried to make them de try to decorate them, but you know we gave them ways to like really make it look cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll add all sorts of kind of professional animation to mm -hmm. it, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how it all started. What kind of people are working here? Um, we have obviously lots of Flash developers. We, uh, we really we're very much uh, me and Lance, the other founder, we're both uh, engineers, engineering and background. So we're pretty much a technical house. We we focus very much on product and uh, and engineering design. So we you kind of develop uh, divide it into web development side, which is you know all about the Rocky site and all the cre about all the creation process yeah. stuff. And then the other half is really a strong design house with a lot of flash mm -hmm. expertise and good uh, action script programming yeah. and that kind of stuff. But you need some marketing guys, right? Um, quite the funny thing is no. We think of ourselves, our, our company and our products. It themselves are marketing, okay. right? Because uh, I mean, the, the real thing is we are. The whole concept of personalization is all about uh, virality, right? So, for instance, somebody goes and says, "Oh, Jazz got this cool thing on his page. I want to do something like that." They put it on their page. All their friends see it. Boom, and it goes on to the next, ne the next. Mm -hmm. And we've actually never spent any marketing money. Um, to this, to this very day, we actually haven't like bought, ad, uh, bought like you know press and advertising and that kind of stuff. Um, our and uh, we're doing really, really well. So it's word of mouth, mouth only. Yes, I mean word, word of mouth is almost not the right word. It's literally people seeing it and grabbing it from one another. So, but yeah, it's it's grown vir virally by itself okay. without marketing. What have you guys um, have been doing before uh, Rock You? Um, we've both we've we've done a variety of other companies. Um, yeah, I mean I've done a bunch of startups. I used I, I was one of the first guys to work on Voice XML back uh, back in the late 90s at, back at Bell Laboratories. Um, and then I've done a couple startups, uh, you know, some consumer, some more t uh, voice recognition stuff, done some enterprise. But uh, pretty much the more important stuff is not what I've worked on professionally. Is that um, in my in my personal time, I've always tried, you know, I've always developed stuff for myself and always tried to keep my skills sharp. Which is which is why, like, even though I spent a lot of time doing a lot of uh, kind of like ERP time integration stuff, I've I, I know my web stuff really well and I know my Flash stuff really well because you're always doing that in your personal yeah. time. Yeah. We're a podcast about Apple. How, how, what's the environment here? Only Windows, uh, a few Apple, only Apple, uh, everything Linux, whatever. Um, interestingly enough, like it's pretty much half and half. The uh, the web development side of the house is mostly Windows. Um, the design side of it is primarily Apple. Okay. Right, just most of the guys that we hire, uh, they walk into the office with you know a Mac. So so that's that's just how it is. Well, you could actually have only Macs and and run it with Perl's, you know. Yeah, we we could. Um, unfortunately, I'm a, I've, uh, from our side. We've always been Windows based. Yeah. yeah so. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it's it's not it's not so uh, a big deal. Yeah, uh, and and all all of our servers are, are Linux. Working with Vista already? No, not. Oh. Really. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Like I mean, we do. I I I do graphic design as well, and uh, Vista's just been really bad with, with uh with Photoshop, CS2, oh, and right. CS3. It's just it's got bad performance and memory. Management issues is it's not working out. So we we actually bought a couple machines and uh, we bought XP machines again because okay. <laughs> it was just bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Maybe we're gonna have a look at uh, outside at uh, this thing. So uh, um, let's go right now. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So let's look a little bit. Cool. I haven't told these guys that you're here, by the way. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean this is our office. Okay. Cool. That's pretty much it. Um, this is where I sit. Nice monitors. Nice displays. Yes. Yeah. Makes so, you, so you guys, are, it's um, how much? How much are you guys? How, how, much how many? How people? About 14 people. Oh, 14 people. 
<clears throat> okay, but there are not all, all here. Yes. Um, actually, everybody's at a baseball game. Okay, <laughs> that's the reason why. Yeah, the A's okay. versus the Red Sox.